Driving in India can be an exhilarating experience. So if you've done it, chances are you've seen the name Hero. The Hero Group was founded in 1956 by Brij Mohan Munjal and his brothers, Om Prakash, Dayanan and Satyanan. The company grew from making bicycle components to producing its own bicycles. By the mid-80s, Hero Cycles was the world's largest bike manufacturer. Moving into motorbikes, the brothers formed a partnership with Japan's Honda to sell low-cost, fuel-efficient motorcycles. By 2001, Hero Honda was the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. That partnership ended in 2010, and Hero Motor Corp was born. It remains one of the world's largest motorcycle manufacturers. That same year, the Munjal family divided their more than 20 group companies into four parts, giving each brother ownership of the businesses they managed while retaining the Hero brand. Throughout Hero's expansion, Sunil Munjal has had a leadership role in many of the companies. He's now the head of Hero Enterprise, which oversees insurance broking, property development, and startup investment. You're the second generation of the Munjal family. In 2016, you left your role at Hero Motor Corp and started Hero Enterprise, where you lead a numerous nonprofit initiatives. Why is that important to you? Are you trying to use the size and scale of the Hero Group to be a force for good in the country? So I believe those of us who are in these privileged positions to have the wherewithal, the knowledge, the resources, and the connections not only ought to, but must reach out and try and make a difference. And our philosophy has been to do this without making any announcements if we can, is to make sustainable changes. So we focus on things like education, clean drinking water, gender issues, integrated development of villages, and the big one now we are working on is arts and culture. We are now creating a unique institution which potentially will be amongst the largest in the world, with 14 institutions co-located in one place, to build on India's cultural strength and to connect India to the world through theater and dance and music and craft, but also education. Hero Enterprise is actively involved in the startup scene in India. You've invested in a beauty e-commerce firm like Nike. Mm -hmm. which recently went public, and yeah. also you've invested in Oyo, which is a hotel booking platform looking to go public. What sort of role do you want to play as a PE and VC player in India? So the first thing actually I did once we restructured uh, our own family businesses was to look around and see there was a serious lack of risk capital in India. Lots and lots of people with great ideas, young and not so young, who could do things but did not have the wherewithal, the guidance, the mentors, or even the monies to go out and take the risk. So along with friends like Saurabh Sirvastar, uh, Padmaja, we encouraged them to put up the first angel network in India, which incidentally has become the world's largest angel network now called the Indian Angel Network. So we look at the passion that the founders and promoters bring. We look at whether there is a real felt need for the product or service they're going to produce and whether they can get to leadership positions, and whether one of us in our team is also passionate about that. All of these had to be ticked, otherwise we don't invest. But once having invested, we don't just walk away. As a PE and VC player, give me an idea of the size of funds or the pool of funds you have available for investing. Uh, all I can say is uh, somewhere between four to six of our investments have been announced in the media. The actual number is order of magnitude higher. We have, of course, other than what we have done ourselves, uh, we've also invested significantly in impact uh, investment funds. So indirectly, we are invested through a large number of funds as well, and we do this both in India and globally. We are now invested on all continents, actually, except Australia. Is there a return? Uh, to we have been very fortunate. That you look at is there a number you can give me? <laughs> Our. So I can tell you the success rate, normally they say in these kind of investments, uh, if you get two to three out of 10 right, you are in good shape. We have been probably blessed uh, or, or fortunate. At this moment, we seem to be getting seven to eight out of 10 right.
brought to you by Credit Suisse.